I totally almost died at the end. Okay, awesome. Awesome, that was very fast today. That's a great feeling. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Also, notice that on the end screen, the first of the two T's was capitalized, but in the title, the second of the two T's is capitalized. Just thought I'd point that out for everyone that gets bugged by that kind of thing. This was actually not terrible. Like, I obviously wouldn't recommend this level. Like, I don't think it was stellar by, by any means. But this was solid. This was surprisingly solid. Um, there's a lot of stuff in this that's really dumb. Let's see, almost count the times. 1380, 1904, 1380. Or I can do that in my head. That is 3284. Okay, that's not bad, actually. That's about the attempt count I was expecting. A little under, I think. Eh, about what I was expecting-ish. That's pretty good. There you go, 3284 on Vendetta. I have some very old, some of these are old. I think about 500 of these on the on the main level were old attempts. And then I wanna say like, I probably ha I had a copy at some point. Like this was easily two years ago. So the reason I did this for V instead of doing something easier um, was because this is a level I looked at forever ago now. It was either when I was looking to do something after Bloodbath or after Belloc, one of the two. I was either looking for like another kind of Bloodbath difficulty ish level after Belloc or I was looking for like a like a new hardest maybe after blood I don't remember I don't remember but there was a point where I was looking at this I remember playing it for a little bit not super long maybe like a day right just kind of messing around with it and being like hey I don't like this I don't want to beat it right but like at some point I'll, I'll come back to it for sure right so I was like well I need a V extreme so I might as well do Vendetta right this was solid this was okay um it obviously reeks of old level because there are tons of really irritating choke points um I mean I can tell you where they are but I think they're pretty obvious L like I say like most of this level's flaws are pretty apparent I don't think I need to spell them out right um, I do often with a lot of the newer levels, because the newer levels are, you know... <laughs> it, I guess it's more excusable in my mind for a level like Vendetta, which came out, what, like four years ago? Yeah, four years ago. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. What is this going on? What is... Whatever. Um, but for a level that came out four years ago, it's more excusable to have some of these, like, really kind of annoying little gameplay elements. It's like, yeah, I kind of expect that from a four-year-old level. But, like, if this level came out, like, six months ago, I would be listing everything that's wrong with it. Because now, where gameplay, sta where gameplay standards are for rates now, this would not be rated. I mean, decoration alone, this gameplay would not get rated. You know what I mean? Like, um... Yeah, it wasn't bad. The... I do, hold on, I do want to show something that I found kind of goofy with this. This is not even necessarily like a, oh, level bad, although I, I, I mean, it is, but like, it's not. Um, this is just a crazy thing that I learned about GD's physics um, that I have to show you. So if I start here as flip gravity, okay, two speed spider, right? I need to show you this. This blew my mind. This genuinely, this blew my mind. So if I go to frame stepper, hitbox, show trajectory, there we go. Okay, ready for this? Oh, this sounds lovely, doesn't it? Just sound lovely. Okay, ready for this? Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, it's a six frame. Wait. <laughs> so this is genuinely, I'm not even fucking kidding you. This is a six frames where it works, four where it doesn't, two where it does again. So this is an eight, this is a 12 frame with four in the middle missing. <laughs> I don't know why it like is so weird to me that that's a thing. I think what's happening, right? Oops, let's see. No, go go back a frame. Go back a frame. Here we go. I think what's happening is here you would die to the spike, that ground spike down there. So instead of die to that ground spike, it puts you on the block. Whereas here you would successfully make it through to the ground, so it'll put you on the ground just fine. 
I think is what's going on. It's really goofy. It's real goofy. That was really funny. And then just out of curiosity, because this was my worst death, was hitting this orb too late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, it's a nineteen. It's not even hard. Like it's not even a hard click. Um, for some reason, I really instinctively want to dodge that spike, so I feel like I need to click way later than I actually do for that click. But that's just a me thing, whatever. Yeah, but I just I I saw that. I was like, how tight is this jump? I'm just curious. I saw that and it blew my fucking mind. <laughs> so that's fucking crazy that that's a thing in the game so you can technically yeah i don't know that's just that's funny um yeah there were some other things in this level i didn't absolutely love like i said the transition from wave to ball in the 70s somewhere is gross as shit because you go down as a mini wave become a big wave and this means that you're a big wave at a vastly different spot every time and then you have to do a little like up down into the ball portal but if you do too small a one, you die to the bottom spike. And if you do too big of one, you die to the top spike. And if you're still holding when you hit the ball portal, you go flying up and die as a ball. Like, it was not good. I'm shocked I didn't die there from zero. I only got there twice and passed it both times, which is fucking crazy to me. Um, other things I didn't love. I'm trying to think of other things I, I wasn't a fan of. The ship in the, like, late tens or late teens, early 20s, around 20%-ish. A lot of the maneuvering in there is very unnecessarily tight. Um, obviously, I, I think the worst single, like, moment in the level is the jump off the platform to the yellow orb to the spider click at 58, or 56, 56, yeah, because if you jump too late before the yellow orb, then you're, you know, you have a nice good yellow orb timing setting up, set up, but then the next spider click is impossible because you don't land soon enough to go up to the yellow pad, right? So you have to intentionally make the yellow orb timing harder for yourself by jumping a little bit earlier so you have less of a, you have a smaller window to make that jump, but then you land sooner so you can go up sooner so you make it onto the yellow pad. Wasn't a fan of that. I think that was probably the single biggest offense the level had. Um, the black orb preceding that part was not good either because the objects were made out of lines. Like, the, the, let me actually show you this. Fuck it, I can show you this too, I can give you a look. So the, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? It is this click, no, right here. Here we go, this click right here. Because this, huh? What? Wait. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Am I crazy? Why does it say it's made out of one object then? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I'm glad I did this. What the hell? Hold on. What? Where's the? Because if I turn on hitboxes here, look, 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 look. It's very clearly made out of object lines, like like lines. It's not made out of the corner piece, right? Like very. Oh, <laughs> they're invisible on layer four. Oh no, they're black. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? That's fucked up, dude. Okay, okay, okay. So what happens here? Is, and I'll just play this in the level to actually show you what happens here. So if I go for... Jesus Christ, that lightning was fucking bright. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear the rain on my completion attempt, but it was it was going crazy. So let's just do this jump. We This jump was fine. This quarter clip's not a problem. Dude, that's loud as shit. Okay, so you see this, right? I don't know how many frames this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight frame. That's pretty tight. So you see here what happens, right? If, if I try to go down, like my blue inside hitbox is not coming anywhere close to this however it clips me back up onto this because of the line right if i get rid of that line i have way more frames to actually do that jump so that was annoying too um there's a bunch of stuff throughout the level that's just kind of weird and awkward and like very dependent on how you did the previous thing um the jump the jump into the like block gap with the blue pad kind of before the duels is really annoying because you have to kind of you have to jump to just miss the spikes above you like just barely miss the spikes above you so that you get down in time to actually get into that gap there's a decent enough visual cue with the um arrow in the circle thing like 
the air deco there that arrow kind of helps you because you pretty much just click middle barely tiny bit late on that deco object and it works out fine um but that was annoying yeah there you go i have my v done now though this was actually not as terrible as i thought it was going to be i didn't hate it i wouldn't recommend it but it's definitely not terrible and if you're looking to not do like vociferous for your v or vivacious which one's the easy one I don't know there's some easier v extremes out there for sure if you're looking to not do one of the easy ones you can go for this it's a it's one of those like classic old extremes you know what i mean it's not bad it plays okay it's fine <sighs> all right i'm gonna cut the recording here now Bye.